if you have an old smoke detector like this, I'll show you how you can safely and easily remove it and install a brand new smoke detector. You know these old guys with the old removable battery? Well, times have changed. Now a lot of homeowners and myself are preferring the sealed battery smoke detector and carbon monoxide detectors. And it really is a game changer because the built-in lithium battery, you see it right there, it lasts for 10 years. These old guys also expire after 10. The only difference between this one and this one is that you're gonna have to change the battery every single year in every unit in your home. And a lot of homeowners, well, they just don't have the time to do that. This one, we are taking it out because it no longer complies to code. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the old unit. Now, how you do that is simply apply pressure and do a quarter turn and pull it down. That's pretty straightforward. This right here is your AC connector. Some people call it a pigtail or a quick connect. You're gonna to wanna to have a non-contact voltage tester. These are important. And all you do is to press this button and you hear that sound? That means that the power is on. So we wanna turn it off at the breaker. Now that I've turned off the power, it is safe to pull down the wires from my smoke detector. It's important to note that we are required to have working smoke detectors on every floor of our home, including in each bedroom and at the top of the stairs in the hallway outside our bedrooms. Now there are different types of sensors with your smoke detector. We have ionization and photoelectric. One is better at detecting smoldering fires and one is better at detecting flaming fires. I'm installing a photoelectric sensor because that is required here. However, there are building codes and electrical codes that specify ionization in certain rooms in your house, so again, Check your local code. Now what makes an integrated smoke detector unique, and this is critical, it all comes down to the wire. We are using a 14-3 wire. What does that mean? Well, 14 refers to the gauge or the thickness of the wire. Three refers to three wires, and those are red, black, and white. White in electrical is your neutral, your black wire is hot, and the red is your interconnected wire. That makes all of the smoke detectors on the circuit talk to one another or communicate via a signal. What that means is if this unit detects fire or smoke in the lower level in the basement, it sends a signal to every single smoke detector, every single unit in your home. So if you're sleeping, you are notified right away when every second counts. There's a minimum distance requirement for a ceiling installation. In this case, they suggest that the unit be no closer than four inches. I actually personally like to bring it out 12 inches so it's not in the corner. You also don't want to install a smoke detector near a window, a ceiling fan, or a vent. In a vaulted ceiling situation, you do not want to have a smoke detector in the upper three feet of the top of your vaulted ceiling. We're now ready to take out the old smoke detector. How I'm gonna do that is by disengaging the AC connector. I'm just gonna push on these little pin clips here and pull it out gently. And here, a no-no, look at that. Someone painted over their smoke detector. Please don't ever do that. You can actually void the unit if you do that. I see this a lot. A little dust in there, which is to be expected. Okay, and you can see there's quite a color difference between the one that was just installed a few years ago and the new one. So I'm gonna swap these out. I'm gonna line up the mounting plate with the screws. And then I'm gonna just give it a little twist and securely this back in place like so and our American friends you'll be using your Phillips and I will be using a Robbie when you use your Robbie it's a Robertson for those not familiar but when you use it all the time we call it a Robbie I have a scar a Robbie scar on my knuckle all right there we go so just firm it's in place you want to push your wires in neatly and you wanna allow room for that battery. Next, we're gonna line up the pins. You see those? And gently, we're just gonna tuck that up. Pushed all my wires and left an area for my sealed battery. All you have to do is push it up to the mounting bracket and then give it a quarter turn. What a lot of people don't know, when you have a sealed battery, it's the act of pushing in your smoke detector and turning it that actually engages the battery. So you don't wanna put it into the mounting bracket and give it a turn unless you're installing it. And then you wanna remove this. The older models had something that resembled a shower cap. 
and you wanna make sure you're removing this prior to occupancy. Now it's time to test our smoke detector to make sure that we have done a good job with the installation. So how to do that is we're just gonna touch the button and wait for it. Here it comes. Oh, uh, oh here it goes. This is very loud. Okay. Press now to cancel test. It's loud. Five, four, it's a countdown. three, okay. two. All right. Okay, you may not hear that. It's now registering with every smoke detector in our home. It's interconnected, it's audible. So we have an alarm sounding, we have an auditory alarm, and then there's a visual alarm. And that again is required by our building code and our electrical code. Okay, it's, I can just hear it upstairs. All right, we're good, that was good. That's how you do it. We installed a smoke detector. You can check me out right here. Grow your knowledge, grow your knowledge. You can do this, I know you can. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Thanks for supporting my channel, everyone. I hope you're well, and I'll see you in the next one.